Good evening. I'm Koran Mahalik. Maury is off tonight. Veronica Prego is a doctor. She knows all about the horror of AIDS, and she knows the virus will eventually kill her. Prego claims she got AIDS from an infected needle while working at a city hospital. She is suing for millions in damages. Opening arguments began today in Brooklyn. Steve Dunlop reports. Dr. Veronica Prego, in the view of her attorney, is suffering from AIDS in an especially horrible way. She has treated AIDS patients herself. She knows what's coming. Seven years ago this month, the 32-year-old Argentina-born doctor was an extern at Kings County Hospital and was stuck by an AIDS-infected needle she says was left behind by another doctor following a test on an AIDS patient. You're going to hear how a needle was left in the bedding among refuge and garbage. And because of that, we're all here today because Dr. Prego is dying. You'll hear how she went on with her life with no symptoms of AIDS right up until that weekend in November 1987 when she started to gasp for air and was rushed to Montefiore Hospital. And you'll hear how she almost died there. Dr. Prego is suing Kings County Hospital, New York City, and two doctors for $175 million. The attorney for the City Health and Hospitals Corporation says Dr. Prego simply should have been more careful. You will have testimony that she grabbed in two hands the debris that she claims she saw there, that she never saw this needle. She understood the man had AIDS. She understood that it was infectious, and she is grabbing she uses the words grab, I am not using them. You'll hear it from the testimony that in this case that she's grabbing and she gets stuck. Well, is that a careful way? Now, do we have to train somebody not to grab? Dr. Prego was seen taking medication shortly before the lunch break. Her attorney later said it was the anti-AIDS drug AZT. She left the courtroom looking pale and tired and did not return for the afternoon session, but she is expected to testify later this week. Whether a hospital is liable when an employee is infected with AIDS on the job has been a gray area in the law for years. Those involved with this case say it's the first of its kind in the world. So doctors, nurses, and hospitals will be watching it very closely. In Brooklyn, Steve Dunlop, Fox News, Channel 5.